the, the resources that are put in, being put into uh, uh, AI and tech in general through Saudi, certainly not, you know, not what you would typically describe as an emerging uh, economy situation. But there are going to be some emerging economies that uh, may need some help. Yeah. What are some pitfalls that you think you know, we, we, can, we can sort of advise or guide them to, to, to avoid as, as they go along this journey? Yeah, the advice is exactly what Insig said, yeah. is AI only gives you the intelligence. If you don't, if you don't use the intelligence properly, you're, you're going to achieve nothing, right? Again, technology for technology's sake is useless. You have to apply it intelligently in the right way. And that would be the number one advice, is don't, jo don't do Gen AI just for the purpose of doing Gen AI. That, that, that's wrong. Mm -hmm. You're doing it because you have a clear use case, you have a clear problem that you're solving, and that technology allows you to solve it in a much more better, unique way. So that would be the number one advice I would give. The second advice is definitely to uh, continue to train the talent, and, and, and starting at school generation now. The new school generations need to be trained in the same way we were trained how we can use the calculator to do math way quicker, the younger kids need to be trained how they can use AI to do everything around them way quicker. So don't escape from it, but rather embrace it. And I'm afraid there are some countries escaping from it. And if they do that, then they're going to fall behind. It's, it's exactly what happened during the Industrial Revolution. The, the countries like Korea, whose uh, NSIC is originally from Korea, that focused on, on uh, embracing the industrial revolutions became economic superpowers because of that. And the ones that were afraid of it, oh, now we have to make things with machines, let's keep making them with our hands, they, they, they disappeared. <laughs> so that'd be my advice.